Guys, I have put a Hobby Wing Fusion 2300 KV in the whole shot. Yeah, a crawler motor. The Fusion Pro, okay, has a feature that you can actually drive with brakes and reverse like you would normally, but it's not quite there. But we're gonna take a look at this thing. I'm gonna show you the motor in here. It's a tight fit. You guys are gonna like it. Let's get to that table. Here you go, guys. I have no idea if this is gonna keep us cool. It does have the stock pinion gear on it, and the motor, I kind of had to push it in. It's nice and tight up against the plastic out there. So, but we've got that. No ESC, just an on-off switch. Let me go ahead and show you the settings I've got with it um, as far as like to make it do this, and hopefully it'll keep us cool. I uh, will take the temperature probe out there with me, but there's a stock motor and stock ESC, and still got warmth from the other run. <laughs> yeah, I'm running quick today. But anyway, let me show you guys the settings. Item one is your running mode, and that is forward reverse brake or your normal mode. Number two is your lipo cells. I've got it. That, that's what calculates your cells is I've got it on auto. Number three is your cutoff voltage. That's on medium. And number four is your thermal protection. Number five is your motor rotation counterclockwise. And six is your BEC voltage. I've got it set for 7.4 volts. Seven is your drag brake force. We don't need that. Eight is your drag brake rate. We don't need that. Number nine is your max reverse force. I've got that set at number three, which is 75%. And number 10 is your max brake force. This is at eight or 85%. That should be enough, right? And uh, 11 is your RPM decrease rate. This is gonna be touchy right here because this thing does have a little bit of a, a drag brake feel when you get into your when you let off, but I do have it setting on two right here. Uh, this will be messed with probably. Uh, I may end up with one on that one. And number 12 is your punch. I've got this set at seven. I mean, you can go up to level nine with it, but yeah, seven should be fine for this thing, right? And number 13 is your neutral range. I've got that set at one, which is 4%. And we are on. That servo is pretty good at 7.4 volts. How long will it last? I have no idea, but Let's go drive. Okay, 2S launch. Let's see what it's got. I think the brush motor's faster. <laughs> uh, yeah, brush motor's a lot faster. Okay, I'm done with 2S. <laughs> uh, 3S, yeah, uh, hmm. Shouldn't be any real heat on that. Nah, not yet. Okay, 3S. All right, not bad. Now that's running pretty well. Yeah. Now 3S is running really good. I, I'm kind of a little bit I don't know that this is the best system for this style vehicle, though. <laughs> but it's doing all right. I mean, it looks like it's doing really good, but I don't know. Woo! Oh, plowed that one. I think it needs a higher KV. I've got a couple stock systems in there, like in the 3000s or possibly, I may even have something in the 4000 KV range. Then just use a regular Hobby Wing ESC. I meant Spectrum out of one of those other vehicles. This is doing pretty good. I'm going to pull it over and get a uh, temperature on this thing real quick. All right, bring it across. Oh, good chassis hit there.
Ow. <laughs> Let's see what we got here for temperature. Throw this thing up here real quick and just see. Wow, it's running really cold. Really impressive. Okay. All right, let's get some laps. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Much better suited than my driving is horrible right now. But <laughs> I can't even stay on the track. Oh, man. Come on, little guy. Let's get this. There we go. Yeah, I'm about to put a different system in it. This is not, this is not what it needs. But it was worth a shot just to see how it would hold up. And so far it's doing mildly beautiful. And I do mean mildly beautiful. <laughs> Considering this is 3S, it is, I had to knock the dirt out of it so I could clean the tires, you know? Yeah, I need more motor. A lot more. <laughs> but you know what? It's doing fine. And I'll do a quick check on the motor temperatures again. And we'll call it a day. Two-wheel drive out here. Crazy. Never would have thought I'd be into two-wheel drive. Last one. Woo! Ha oh, ha. Good deal. All right, let's bring it on back. All right, get a quick check on this thing. Let's see. As far as keeping temps, this thing is doing really good. Really impressed with the temperatures. Very nice. Well, even though it worked, okay, it worked, it's not what it should be. Not what it should be at all. So, yeah, that's coming out. I've got some more brush systems, more takeout systems I'm going to try in here. I'm not really going to invest into this truck very much, but uh, I do got to do a little bit of work on it. It's going to get a little bit more power. Uh, something around the 3,000 kV range, maybe the largest pinion possible. I think we should be all set, especially on 2S, 3S. Yeah. I mean, on 2S with this right here, it was able to just clear it. So you go from 2300 kV to 3150 kV. Yeah, I'm talking about a spectrum system here. It should actually get the job done. There you go. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, haven't seen anybody else put a Fusion in a racer, but now you have. <laughs> so check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell. You guys, you're awesome. Catch you later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.